Amen. Good morning and thank you for joining me on this Facebook live session. I come before you as the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress to advocate for a course, an upcoming exercise that goes to the heart of our democracy. The limited voter registration exercise will give the opportunity to those who have become eligible to vote to place their names on the voters register. It will also allow for those with placing lost voters ID cards an opportunity to transfer your vote from where you currently have it to a new polling station. In a nutshell, I'm here to encourage you wherever you are in Ghana or beyond that if you do not have a voter ID card, especially if you've just turned 18, please take advantage of this exercise which starts on September the 12th, 2023. Start making the necessary arrangements to register and get your voters ID card. My brothers and sisters, our young people, fellow countrymen and women, it is no secret that Ghana, our beloved country, is currently grappling with a severe economic crisis. More than ever before, the lives of our people today are defined by a daily struggle to eke out a living. We are seeing our daily cost of living skyrocket and job opportunities are becoming more difficult by the day. Our people, the youth, the elderly, drivers, market women, civil servants, security personnel, teachers, journalists, nurses and doctors are all experiencing a sense of hopelessness on a scale never witnessed in recent memory. This dire situation calls for urgent action and the most powerful tool at our disposal is our right to vote. President Akufado and his administration have failed to address the pressing economic challenges they have exerted on the people of our country. Misapplying our precious scarce resources and overspending on their creature comforts and largesse instead of building the critical infrastructure this country needs for job creation and development. Their promises during their campaigns have not been fulfilled, leaving the ordinary Ghanaian burdened with the consequences of their incompetence, cluelessness and shameless arrogance. Today some Ghanaians glorify and make excuses for corruption because the MPP has allowed it to permeate every facet of our society. This must never be ex accepted as the norm. It hinders progress on many fronts, denying our youth of opportunities that should have come their way if state resources were meaningfully applied. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot afford to let this dire state of affairs continue. Registering and acquiring a voter ID card to vote in the December 2024 presidential and parliamentary elections is not just a basic civic duty, it is an obligation. As a people, our starting point to effect real change in our country is to register and vote. You and I have a collective responsibility to use our votes wisely to hold our leaders accountable and demand the change we desperately need. It is the surest way to secure our democracy. As young people, we must hold immense power in our hands. The upcoming limited voter registration exercise by the Electoral Commission is therefore an opportunity to start the process towards making your voices heard and shaping the future of our dear country, Ghana. Your vote in 2024 will symbolize your desire for a better Ghana, a determination to overcome the challenges we face, and your commitment to help build the Ghana we want together, a Ghana that guarantees you, your children, your siblings, and our unborn generations a brighter, sustainable future with well-paying jobs. But that will only happen when you acquire a voter's ID card and cast your vote for the NDC in that crucial election on December 7th, 2024. I wish to add my voice to those who have called on the EC to reconsider its decision to restrict the registration exercise to its district offices only. 
Acquiring a voter ID card affirms one's right to vote and access to a voter ID card should be easy and not limited by location. Every Ghanaian deserves the chance to exercise this democratic right. I strongly urge the Electoral Commission to facilitate the registration exercise in all its electoral areas to allow for easy access and a reduced burden on the citizenry in their quest to register. I challenge the Commission to be more transparent with the processes preceding the start of the limited voter registration exercise, the replacement of voter ID cards and the transfer of votes. As has been requested in a formal letter to the Commission by the General Secretary of the NDC, we want to know when the names and pictures of the registration supervisors, registration officers, registration assistants and other officials for the exercise will be published at the district level as stipulated by the EC regulations. We have also requested information on the exact number and distribution of workstations, registration kits and other logistics to be used in the exercise. It is also our very strong recommendation that in line with Regulation 22B of CI 91, as amended by CI 126, the Commission listens to the call for the extension of the exercise to take place in the electoral areas and not limited to the district offices of the Commission. This will curb many inconveniences, including transportation, lack of money to move from distant locations and access. At this point, let me encourage all my comrades in the NDC to put aside every other thing or activity and let's give a maximum attention and focus to this upcoming exercise. Let me urge all my fellow citizens, especially the youth, to take this exercise very seriously. It is your opportunity to hold your leaders accountable. It is about your rights. It is about your future. It is about our dear nation Ghana. Let us join hands and work together towards building the Ghana we want. I thank you all and may God bless our dear nation Ghana and good morning. Yeah, 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 yeah